Now we are in the 23rd topic. This is the last topic that is mentioned in your exam scheme for term 2. There are two more questions. They are the bonus questions whose objectives have not been disclosed. But they'll be any of the two objectives which you have learned in your class throughout the term 2. Now over here it is about midpoint, uh, midpoint formula and finding any of the endpoints. This is again another easy topic, easy formula. Midpoint formula, you must remember this in your mind, is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So now imagine something over here. This is say 10 and this is 20. You need the middle of this. In your mind, you can analyze it and tell yes, 10 and 20. So middle will be the 15. 15 would be the midpoint. But how do you do it in a formula? It's simple. The first value, 10, plus the second value, 20, divided by 2. This will be 30 divided by 2, that is 15. That's how this formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, which is a very straightforward formula. The same thing goes to the y coordinates as well. This is x1, this is x, sorry, no, I'll come to that in a while. Same thing goes to the y coordinates. So x2, sorry, not x2, it's y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This is a weird looking y, so I'll just raise it. I'm sorry for my handwritings. Okay, this will be equal to the midpoint. So xm over here will be the midpoint and ym would be the midpoint. So this is the thing. So now again, going back to the simple example, 10 over here, 30 over here, anything, anyway, 30 is also fine. The midpoint would be 20. Add these both and find the answer. But now what would you do if you know the midpoint is 20, but you don't know the final answer? But you know that if you add the 10, with the end point plus unknown value x and divided it by 2, you will get what? You should get 20. So now from this, you can solve it. You can solve it directly in calculator or you can just take it over here. It will be uh, 10 plus x equals 40 and x is equal to 40 minus 10. That is x is equal to 30. So this would be the answer, right? So this is the thing. Same way we will do it in this formula as well. It's not that hard. I'll just show you. Now over here in this particular question, they have mentioned B is the midpoint. Okay, B is the mid, uh, find the coordinates of the missing point. If B is the midpoint, so whatever they are mentioned over here is the M, XM and YM. So the answer is given the minus 2, comma, 5. But what, what is missing over here? One of the point is missing. That is A is missing. This is unknown. We know this will be, you can take it as X1 and Y1. It's fine because any one is unknown. It's fine, you know. So I will consider this minus 5 plus unknown value. Okay, I'll just write it as X2 over here divided by 2. We know the answer of this will be XM that is minus 2. Even the second thing, it's the same thing over here. The y value is known, 4 is known, plus y2 divided by 2. That will be equal to the midpoint of y, that is 5. So now if you solve this, you will get the answer. You can solve it anyhow. You can uh, easily solve this. I'll erase it over here. Now take this 2 to the other side. It will be minus 5 plus x2 equals minus 4 and x this 5 goes to the other side x2 will be positive 5 minus 4 will be 1 x2 is 1 and over here again same way 4 plus y2 equals 10 and y2 equals 6 so the answer will be 1 and 6 after you solve the answer is 1 and 6 x value is 1 y value is 6 so this is the thing you can do many methods but the easiest would be just write this formula and this 
x1 plus x2 divided by 2 is equal to xm, y1 plus y2 divided by 2 is equal to ym. This is the midpoint for y and x. So don't interchange the points. Please remember, first is x. This is midpoint of x, x1, y1, x, uh, ym. And then equate them. Even this can be, you can check your answers, whatever you have done the calculation, by directly substituting this in the calculators. Say, for example, minus 5 plus unknown value x divided by 2 equals to negative 2. Make sure when you're using this, press shift and solve. And then you need to press equal to, you will get the answer as 1. So this is the answer. x value is 1. Same way you can do it over here to check. 4 plus unknown value divided by 2 equals Phi. Unknown value is always described as x, may it be x or y or anything. Press shift and solve and you will get 6. So they are all correct. Now one more thing, you can't press equal to, you'll get a syntax error because unknown variable is there. You need to press shift and solve and now this is how you solve it up. So please remember all the problems are the same way. You need to Remember the formula for midpoint and then equate each of this and then solve it up. It's very, very straightforward and easy. Once you know the formula, just make sure you do it. Even if it's a fraction, doesn't matter. It's just that, see, this is it. The same thing what we had followed. So just do it by yourself and then please do check the answers. Solve it by yourself. You, you need to write and solve all this. So do practice writing them and solving them. And that is the end. I wish you all the very best. I hope these videos have helped you uh, to study well for your exam. If you like them, if, if you found it useful, do like these videos and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all the very best for your exam. All the best guys. Do well.